I wonder, and starts wonder, was it long, long ago? In my talking, myself in, to come on herself. Oh, our journey seed, though slowly, sun brought the gift of joy. James Thomas Sean Kelly. Take you, Patsy Maria Malenkovic. Take you, Patsy Maria Malenkovic. To be my wedding wife. To be my wedding wife. Pledge that from this day. I will love you. I will love you. Comfort. Comfort. And encourage you. And encourage you. Honor. Honor. And respect you. And respect you. And to be faithful. And to be faithful. Honest. Honest. And devoted to you. And devoted to you. As long as we both shall be. As long as we both shall be. I, Patsy Maria Malenkovic. Take you, James Thomas Sean Kelly. Take you, James Thomas Sean Kelly. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I pledge that from this day. I pledge that from this day. I will love you. I will love you. Comfort. Comfort. And encourage you. And encourage you. Honour. Honour. And respect you. And respect you. And be faithful, and be faithful honest, honest, and devoted to you, as long as we both shall live. I've never known. I wish I had a hundred songs to write and sing of who you are. We can feel just like a dream. You can take my hand and make it real. James and Patsy, you were both made the declarations and vows required by law in the presence of these witnesses, your family and friends. 
friends. And it's that wonderful moment in time where it's a delight, an honour and a pleasure to say to you both, congratulations, you are legally married. <laughs> I must have fought you at the jackpot when you met me.
I had a full head of hair, a decent body, and a Range Rover. <laughs> Eighteen months later, I'd gone bald, got a dad bod, had a push bike to get to work. <laughs> Played an absolute blinder. <laughs> Morning Patsy's journey started on Christmas Eve on 2018. That evening, after a lot of drinks and some persuading by Ellie, Patsy finally approached me. We instantly hit off, and after an hour or so, she persistently tells me, I don't kiss anyone on the first time I've met them. <laughs> Lo and behold, ten minutes later, she had a tongue down my throat and wouldn't leave me alone. It's the truth, isn't it? <laughs> Like no more nails, honestly. <laughs> the even funnier, even funnier thing is, I joined them all for a New Year's Eve meal at the farm, literally five days later. <laughs> Mark and Lorraine literally said to us, oh, how long have you known each other then? And me and Patsy looked at each other and went, five days. <laughs> so, yeah, things move pretty quickly. <laughs> As many of you know, we didn't have the smoothest start to our relationship. And just after four months of being together, we went through possibly the most worrying time of our lives. Patsy had a stroke. Patsy, being the super strong woman she is, come through it amazingly while tackling the day-to-day -day effects, managing a high-pressure job, and on top of that, her own business. And then sorting all this out as well, so thank you. I don't tell you enough, but you do make me very proud. Oh, that's very sweet. Come on, the girlies. <laughs> the wedding was nearly over before it started. We went to the register to announce our marriage, and there's a certain set of questions we had to answer while the other had left the room. I thought to myself, we'll be in and out in no time. However, I heard the registrar ask Patsy, what's James's middle names? <laughs> Patsy replied, um, I'm not sure. <laughs> Is it Arthur? <laughs> I could hear the guy's voice change and go, um, no. Um, do you want to try again? She went, Is it John? <laughs> again, he sounded even more confused and a bit worried. He went, uh, try again. And she went really confidently, Is it Edward? I have no idea where she had them Victorian King's names come to mind. But, uh, at this point, she pulls out the stroke card. <laughs> and the register slowly pushes my driving license across the table. Where Patsy replies really nonchalantly, oh yeah, it's Thomas Sean. <laughs> and as I think everyone knows, there's never a door day when Patsy's around. <laughs> so once again, I want to thank you all for being here to celebrate our big day. And I'd like to all just raise a glass to some of our family who couldn't be here with us today. So I'd like to say a special remembrance from my granddad Tom, my granddad Sean, my uncle Dominic and my auntie Michelle. We love and miss you dearly. Thank you. Patsy, where do I start? My gorgeous, beautiful daughter. You act absolutely stunning today. Not that I expected anything else. You make us so proud every day. You have such a big heart. You are a sweet, kind person. Always happy to do things for others. We've just come back from a holiday in Crete, courtesy of Patsy. So generous. Okay, Crete was on fire when she booked it. <laughs> so she probably got a great discount. Time goes by so fast, it seems like yesterday Patsy was prancing around in a plastic princess dress-up shoes, singing along to Mary Poppins, 
Feed the birds tuppence a bag. <laughs> Patsy used to go through two or three pairs of those shoes a month. <laughs> Back then, it was a trip to Toys R Us for a new pair. Plus, no doubt, the odd VTech that probably, that's probably why she works in IT. <laughs> Great thing is, Pat, you know your mum is obsessed with Amazon and buying a load of old tat that will never, <laughs> that will never be used. So here you go, mum ordered these yesterday and here they are today. Just to bring back, just to bring back, just to, just to bring back some happy memories. You, you can wear these for yours and James's first dance. Or not. James, you look very handsome and smart today. He may, look like, he may look like Jason Statham now, but I've got to turn a page here. He may look like Jason Statham now, but back in 2018, when he had a comb over, <laughs> on a windy day, he looked more like Bobby Charlton. Only joking, James, you're a great fella. You know that we think the world of you. You both look amazing today. <laughs> Looking at you today, Pat, takes me back 35 years when I married your mother. <laughs> you look so much like her today. Did you write this? <laughs> You, you look so much like her today. Time is nobody's friend. <laughs> Sorry, James. But at least Lorraine can cook. <laughs> I'm not saying Patsy is a bad cook. I'm not saying Patsy is a bad cook, but she uses a smoke detector as a timer. <laughs> Actually, Patsy did cook us something the other week. I couldn't eat it. I gave it to the dog. He licked his ass to get rid of the taste. I swear to God. Bloody dog died three days later. Blame, blame her. With that, I'm done. All that's left is to raise your glasses to Patsy and James, and wish them the best of luck for a long and happy life together. One of the best things about James is he'll always make time for anyone, and if you ever make any plans, he was always the first to say that he'll be there. Enough about the Cookie King, onto the bride. I'm sure you can all agree how stunning Patsy looks today. and how lucky James is to call you his wife. Yeah. You are one of the most genuine and kindest people we have ever met, and we can all see that you and James are made for each other. Yeah. Me and Tom would like to thank you both for asking us to be a massive part of your day, and we wish you a lifetime of happiness together. So, on that note, can you all please stand and raise a glass to the new Mr. and Mrs. Kelly?
I've been watching you for so long. 